Hey, are you looking to easily create an audio conference service? Embed conferencing into your apps and solutions? Welcome to this video that will show you how to build unlimited conference rooms using a single SDA. In this short demonstration, we will use Wazo Enterprise Programmable Communication combined with Node-RED. Wazo's solution exposes a large variety of communications APIs to web developers and can be deployed in any infrastructure. Node-RED is a low-code visual flow programming tool using Wazo's and Google's APIs, among many others. So let's discover our use case. Audio Conference Room is the simplest way to connect more than two people. Being able to quickly create at no cost as many as you need will bring you more flexibility and scalability. Today, we will show you how to build on-demand audio conference services. As you can see in the flowchart, the different steps are 1. The user creates a conference room using a web interface. Note that he could have done it from its calendar or directly from your application. 2. He set up the room with name, start and end dates, a PIN code and his email address. 3. He receives a calendar invitation and thus be able to invite attendants. 4. Each participant chooses between dial-in or to be called back. And of course, all the events could be reported in a dashboard. Now let's build this. Here. We are building our demo scenario by easily dragging and dropping functional blocks and set them up with our environment variables. So now let's have a look from a more technical standpoint and discover Wazo's APIs and event services. In this Node-RED scenario, we will be using nodes coming from the Wazo palette, which request the API primitives to interact with the call, Node-RED dashboard to build the web interface, Google Calendar and MongoDB Notes. We can divide this workflow in four parts. Part 1 defines how Wazo handle calls on the conference public SDA. Part 2 designs a simple web UI. Part 3 is how we create a conference room. And part 4 is about deleting one. For this video, we will focus on part 1 and 3. Starting with part 3. This part takes place when the user has chosen to create a new conference room from the web UI. First, we get all the context and unused extension. We update our Wazo dial plan to book an available extension. Then, we create the room setup, pushing up the ID of the conference room and the extension. Finally, we ask for the room information and register it in a third-party database and send a calendar invitation. Now let's dig in part 1. We are looking for WebSocket events to trigger action. We have set the following workflow. Answer the call. Play a 3 seconds message inviting you to dial your credential. Process this DTMF to find the conference room. Manage a mismatch or check your credential with the database registered information. Now here is a live demo of this use case. First, here is the sample web manager we built using Node-RED. We are now setting up two conference rooms for today. We enter a PIN code that will have to be composed by each participant, an email address for the host, and has the freshly created room display in the right table we are good to go. Having a look at our web calendar, we have received an invitation for the meeting. It contains information we set up on the auto-generated access ID of the room. We could then compose the SDA and dial our way through the conference IVR we built. But let's have a look at another option. You could provide a better user experience by setting up a web form. Instead of using DTMF, you provide an access by asking the user to fill the form using his phone number and the provided credential. This web callback service will directly connect into the room. You could go even further, enabling full management from calendar or let people join from apps or computer join using WebRTC features. All these improvement suggestions could be managed using Wazo and might be covered in another video. Now, let's imagine adding a bot on this setup. It could dial every participant at the starting time of the conference, reducing drastically the number of people that might have forgotten or being late. 
This quick meeting room example is just an overview of the unlimited capabilities of Wazo Enterprise Programmable Communication interacted with other solutions using Node-RED. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a use case to solve, feel free to contact us using the link in the description. We will gladly help you to build on measures Wazo solution. Please subscribe to be notified of our future use case videos and visit wazo.io to learn more about us.